Hey guys, here I am with a with a new rod I'm trying out. It's from Moonshine, and it's a real seed 10 footer. And this rod was made for fly fishing, but I want to try it out in crappie fishing. Uh, it weighs 3.5 ounces, and that's one of the reasons why I picked this rod to try out. So uh, I'm looking, trying to see what kind of backbone it has and what kind of uh, sensitivity it has. I paired it with a Wicked Reel, and this Wicked Reel weighs 5.2 ounces. All right, let's get it out of the box. Oh, I, this is actually a free gift that came with the rod. Uh, I actually kind of forgot about that, but let's take a look at it. Oh. It's a leather case. It's a flash in there. Came with the came with the rod. It's, it's a lid there. Actually, this is pretty. So if you watch my shows, you know I like rear rear seat rods, and that's the rear seat of it. Oh man, this is actually really nice. So this rod weighs uh, three point three point five ounces. Oh, comes with two tips. So if you break one tip, you got an extra tip. Uh, I want you to see the packaging that it came in. It comes in this, you know, this, this cheap packaging out of box. But uh, it weighs uh, 5.2 ounces. Let me double check. So the weight on it is 5.2 ounces. And uh, it's, it's a fairly decent reel. I say a new equipment. I have used this reel before. And it seemed to hold up pretty good. But this is a real, and it's really lightweight. I mean, it, it, it really feels light. It's lighter than the bonehead ones that I'm using. So it's really, really light. Uh, I mean, the bearings, uh, I don't know, not the best I've ever seen, but uh, pretty smooth. One of the reasons why I wanted to show you this stuff is because, you know, the other type of fishing, like fly fishing and bass fishing, it, I mean, their equipment is quite more expensive than crappie fishing because I think the manufacturers don't believe that crappie fishermen will spend the money on the equipment. And I think that's going to change over time, but, uh, but I like to cross over and see if, uh, you know, some of their equipment is going to work really well for for crappie fishing, so let's, and this is what it looks like sitting on there. And I'm gonna tell you, this is very light. So, 5.2 on the reel, 3.5 on the rod, so that's a total of 8.7. And I'm gonna tell you, it's light. It's not quite, not quite balanced, I would say. If I maybe here. I was holding it here, it would be just a little more balanced. So I slide back here, it gets a little heavy out on the tip. But I got what well, typically I hold mine's like this, but I can tell you right now, holding it like this, this is, this is extremely light. 
So there's three things I, I like to think about when I'm when I'm trying to decide on a rod is is uh, how much it weighs, the sensitivity, and the backbone. And so the the weight is there. So the other two things, the sensitivity and the backbone, is the two unknowns. So we'll give this rod a shot this weekend and, uh, and see what it does. But I could tell you, <laughs> this is extremely light. It's sensitive. The rod is very sensitive. Come up, come right next to that tree. And when you get right next to the tree, get enough momentum so when you get right next to the tree, push your fins all the way up so you can coast over the limb. Yeah, now bring your fins up. See, can you get a hit there? That way, you at least know if you don't catch nothing to there, you ain't using the right, your bait ain't working. Right. But it, it, was, it was a handful of them, wasn't it? Yeah. If you can't get them to bite, then you, you ain't using the right bait. You ain't doing something right. You ain't holding your mouth right or something. <laughs> <laughs>
shocked. I, th I think this thing got backbone and I'm really shocked about it because uh, it seems so flimsy. Huh? You said the game warden? Yeah. Well, I said game warden. He was a park ranger. I seen the game warden in here. I ain't even still in them. I may be too deep because I just feel the weight and I'm setting the hood on. And uh Move a little bit on you.
Pitch this. I'm gonna pitch this. I'm gonna go over here and pitch this other. Put that fish in there. <laughs> he barely hooked. Oh my. Oh. <clears throat> Son. See, there they are. Right there. this rod that's backbone I can't believe this rod can do that this fish this fish is a good pound I have I have put a marker out for you I said mainly the market what I'm doing is I'm looking at the, the bank and then I'm looking at the middle of the, the lake to see to see how far off from the bank I am and then so like right way so right 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 there yeah, is yeah yeah right there is where you should be fishing at right there so that trim with that spider web that tree right there right over your head mm -hmm. It's spider web, and then you need to be out five feet from it.
Normally I try to put those 360 shots right next to the same fish with the GoPro shot, but getting busy on my end, so I left the 360 shots all right together, but these are the same fish in the GoPro shots. Got here. That's a limit. Let's get them laid out and see what they look like. Whew, another hot day out on the river, guys. Got a limit. Uh, some nice fish in here. Till the next time, get bent. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing.